असलम व्यूअर्स प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल लिंक्स ऑफ पी डी एफ फाइल यूज इन दिस वीडियो आर गिवन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो टूडेज लेक्चर इज़ अबाउट कम्प्लेक्सोमेट्रिक ई डी टी ए टाइट्रेशन एंड इन दिस लेक्चर पर्टिकुलरली वी विल लर्न अबाउट डायरेक्ट ई डी टी ए वर्सेज जिंक टाइट्रेशन सो द बेसिक क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस टाइट्रेशन इज टू डिटर्मिन द अमाउंट पर लीटर ऑफ जिंक सल्फेट डॉट सेवन एच टू ओ इन अ गिवन सैम्पल सोल्यूशन वॉल्यूमेट्रिकली यू आर प्रोवाइडेड विद पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव मोलर ई डी टी ए एज स्टॉन्डर्ड सोल्यूशन सो दाइट ऑफ दिस टाइट्रेशन इज जिंक सल्फेट डॉट सेवन एच टू ओ वेयर एज द स्टैंडर्ड सोल्यूशन इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव मोलर ई डी टी ए so this is a direct edta titration as there are other means like indirect and alkylimited titration but this is the particularly the type of direct edta titration and this titration is called as complexometric titration because in this titration a coordination complex is formed between metal and ligand so the basic theory of this titration is that a coordination complex is formed and in this particular type the zinc ions which we want to determine or which is our analyte is act as central metal atom or ion whereas edta or ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid acting as a ligand edta is not a simple ligand but it is a hexadentate chelated ligand and is used as titrant as titrant chelated means that it makes a ring with metal and hexadentate means at a one time it makes around 6 coordinate covalent bonds with metal so it means edta makes a very strong complex with metal as we know that all the complexation takes place in basic ph condition so we will definitely add some base ebt is used as indicator in this titration this also works as ligand but it is not so much stable ebt is also called as irochrome black tea or solochrome black tea because after reacting with metal its color is quite like wine red and if its concentration is very high then it gets the color of tea so that is why we call it as irochrome black tea uh it uh, forms only two coordinate covalent bonds with metal at a time so it definitely makes a complex with metal but this complex is not stable so the end point of this titration is sky blue color so this is the experimental setup of this titration so we will take edta in the burette where as 10 ml of sample solution will be taken in the flask we will add buffer like liquid ammonia in order to make sure that ph is 10 or above 10 and then we will add irochrome black tea uh, indicator actual color of irochrome black tea or solochrome black tea is bluish in tone but as we add this irochrome black tea in the solution then it will immediately make complex with zinc and the color turns wine red so this is the uh, wine red color after the addition of ebt inside the flask and after the formation of complex between zinc and ebt the color turns into wine red so if we see the structure of irochrome black tea so this is the structure of irochrome black tea and after uh, making a complex with zinc this is the overall structure that turns so original color is bluish in tone whereas after making complex with zinc the colors turn into wine red as shown in figure above so this is the actual color that has been shown in the picture this is the overall structure of edta or ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid actually in place of ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid we takes is salt because if we take a pure ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid then it will not dissolve in water so in order to make it dissolve in water we will take its salt so that it turns a little bit it to in an inorganic nature and dissolves in water 
so it is a hexadentate ligand as it donates its six electron pairs that are present uh, and it gives at one single time makes six coordinate covalent bonds with matter and these complexes are not only chelated so uh, because of so many number of coordinate covalent bonds and chelated structures this is makes edta very stable complex with zinc although it makes a very stable complex with zinc but this complex is colorless and there is no color of this complex appears so here the nitrogen groups are attached this is the ethylene group and here we are seeing there are four acetic acid groups that have been attached to zinc and the overall geometry is octahedral and if we see in the structure there are many rings formed like this ring forms similarly this ring forms and here another ring and this ring and this ring so there are so many rings formed in this structure so it is a very stable complex that is why it is also called as chelated coordinated complex now this is the next stage uh, that uh, after making a wine red color by the addition of aerochrome black tea uh, now we have started to add edta inside the flask now we will add edta continuously in the flask what will happen here in the flask that zinc will break its complex ebt uh, will break its complex with ebt and will form a complex with edta because edta forms a stable complex with the zinc so what is the end point of this titration is that whenever the last atom of the zinc is attached with edta then the aerochrome black tea will set free and will turn into its original color so the wine red color shifts into a sky blue color which is the original color of aerochrome black tea or solochrome black tea this indicates that now aerochrome black tea has set free and all the zinc has been complex with edta so it means now we have reached the end point of our titration now the amount of edta added has all been consumed with zinc and now there is no point of further addition of edta next there is observations and calculations so we will take three readings almost in every practical so that we can take mean of these values so initial reading is zero final reading is 10 in the first observation then in the second observation again 10 ml has reached and in the third ml the end point reached at 10 ml so it means the mean volume of edta used is 10 ml so in order to carry the calculations what we will do we will write on one side edta on on the other side zinc so this is the molarity formula for edta and this is for zinc m1 v1 over n1 is equal to m2 v2 over n2 so m1 is the molarity of edta this has been given in the question whereas v1 is the buret reading that has come 10 mole ratio is 1 is to 1 means one molecule of edta reacts with one molecule of zinc so mole ratio will be 1 is to 1 m2 is the molarity which we will find by rearrangement of this equation and v2 is the volume of the sample that we have originally taken in the flask so after rearranging m2 we came into this situation and the final answer is 0 0.025 molar so in order to determine the amount per liter of zinc ion we will multiply this molarity with the atomic weight of zinc which is 1.67 grams per liter and in order to find the amount per liter of zinc sulfate dot 7 h2o we will multiply molarity of uh, this uh, uh, equation and which is 0 0.025 with the molecular weight of zinc sulfate dot 7 h2o which is 287.02 so we gain a net amount which is 7.37 grams per liter so the result of this titration is that the given sample solution contains 7.37 gram liter of zinc sulfate dot 7 h2o so this was all about today's titration i hope you have well understood this titration but if still you have any question in your mind let me know in the comment section i will respond as soon as possible okay thank you allah hafiz